I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. There was writing on the inside and the outside of the scroll, and it was sealed with seven seals. Revelation chapter 5 verse 1. The scroll is written on the inside and the outside and sealed with seven seals. Jewish scrolls for the redemption of slaves and property were common. In Jeremiah's time they used two scrolls. One was written on the inside and sealed. The other was not sealed. I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 11. In John's time they used a single scroll. What had been written in the open scroll in Jeremiah's time was written on the outside of the sealed scroll in John's time. A search is made for someone who meets the legal requirements to open the scroll. A redemption scroll could only be opened by a kinsman redeemer, and he could only open it if he was able to pay the required price, the ransom. Who is worthy to break the seals on this scroll and open it? Revelation chapter 5 verse 2. Jesus appears as a slain lamb and is found to have met the legal requirements to open the scroll because he had been slain and paid the ransom price with his blood. This is more evidence that the scroll is a redemption scroll and is evidence that it is the scroll for the redemption of man and creation. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to David's throne, has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. Revelation chapter 5 verse 5. You are worthy to take the scroll and break its seals and open it. For you were slaughtered, and your blood has ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. Revelation chapter 5 verse 9. He entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, thus securing eternal redemption. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12.